Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chash and the action mash. So today we're going to be doing something quite different, something that I have not done for many, many years. Uh, we did do it one summer as a craft thing when we were kids during summer holidays with my mum, but I thought I wanted to get some new t-shirts for the channel to wear, and I stumbled across a video doing tie-dye, and I was like, oh my god, I haven't done that for donkey's years. It'll be a lot of fun to do that. So I have got here 10 of these value weight Fruit of the Loom t-shirts. I've got some reusable cable ties so I can use these for some tying as well, but then not waste them because they're reusable so I can carry on and use them for other projects. I have got some elastic bands because I'm going to be using some of the elastic bands as well. And then I have a selection of Dylon colours. So we have Sunflower Yellow. We have got Tulip Red. We have got Fresh Orange. We have got Forest Green. Peony Pink. Smoke grey, and this one, which is the navy blue. This is the one you put in the washing machine, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I have then got these bottles, like sauce bottles, to mix up the solutions in. I've also got a uh, spray bottle as well to um, wet it. You'll see when I've when I'm doing it. And so, yeah, and I've also got to the other side there is a big plastic tray because I'm going to put all of them together when I do it. So it's kind of like I'm going to tie these up in different ways that I've seen online. Um, but um, yeah, but then I'm going to, you know, mix up the colors and kind of do it that way. Right. So the first thing I need to do is these T-shirts need to be damp. So not wash, but damp. So I'm going to put these into the washing machine on a rinse and high spin so that they're nice and damp. So let's crack on with that. The t-shirts are now uh, rinsed and spun. So now I'm going to prep the dyes. So the um, dye bottles are all ready. Now it is time for me to start arranging all these t-shirts into different positions. First thing I've seen that you have to do is turn them inside out. So I shall do that. Sure that they're all un increased. Okay. Now, in time lapse, I'm going to start folding them and stuff in different ways to try and get different effects on each of the t-shirts. So I'm gonna do that in time-lapse for all of them.
Unfortunately, all the footage of me doing it has disappeared. It didn't record for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, so everything is now tie-dyed. So it does look a bit dark, but I do like the kind of like darker colors. So that's what I went for. And as you can see underneath them as well is different. So yes, yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing now is putting them inside a bin bag. Um, I'm gonna spray them. I've got a spray gun here. So I'm gonna put some warm water with some salt in it, mix it up. Uh, when they're in the bag, then I'm gonna spray them to keep them wet, to, just to keep it damp and I'm going to leave it for 24 hours. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the next day, so it's time. 24 hours have passed, approximately. Time to do a bit of a reveal. So what I'm going to do is the two with elastic bands around them, I'm going to get my tongs and I'm going to pop these into the sink. One. Two. Right, let's get you over the sink. So I'm gonna rinse them with warm water. Okay, so here comes the big reveal. I'm gonna reuse the elastic bands. If I can get them all off, there we go them there and there we go this is the first one <laughs> wow that is amazing right let's do the second one oh my gosh they are amazing Oh wow, I love that. Right, okay, let's carry on with this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the camera back and um, I'll unveil them better. Hmm. Hello, Zach. Right, let's take a look at the first one. Oh, wow. I love that. Got the big swirl in the middle. That is really nice. And the next one. It's got like the stripes all over it and like Looks like a kind of like spine. A beautiful mix of the colors. They look really nice. I really like them. Right, okay, so these I rinsed off by hand, but they're gonna have to be rinsed off in the washing machine along with the other ones. I'm not going to take the um, plastic cable ties off them. Um, so yeah, let's get them rinsed. So they've had their rinse and spin at 1400. I'm just gonna take all the cable ties off. All the ties have now been taken off. So these are the ones that I did with elastic bands that you saw. 
I like that one. And that one. And let's do this one. Oh wow, that is awesome. Look at those sidelines. Ah, oh, I love it. God, I'm like that woman on the advert for the... Uh... Ooh, that's nice. I like that one. But lots of white in that one with the colors. That's cool. <gasps> Ooh, that looks like a tiger in the middle. I accidentally did a tiger. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Wow. Okay, and there was this one that I just did a center of. Oh, that's nice with the like traditional center circle. I like that one. And this one. Let's undo it. Wow. I like that. That's really nice. And let's undo this one. Well, oh, I like that because it's got the two colors like repeated each side. Oh, look, another tiger. Oh, that really looks like a tiger. Love it. Accidental tigers. And let's unfold this one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's nice, that one is. And finally, the last one. <sighs> tiger stripes. I like my tiger stripes. Oh, that is nice. Oh, these came out really, really cool. Oh, so easy to do. I, you know, I, the t-shirts were like 20 quid for 10. And then the tie-dye stuff. Right, okay, so that is my wash basket. Now I'm going to put them on a wash. So let's go back to the machine. There we go, they're all washed and now hanging up to dry. I love the different patterns on them. They look really cool. I am really chuffed with it. Highly recommend giving these a go. They're really easy to do. Um, have a look online if you um need ideas with patterns and stuff also there's a guy on instagram um i'll put the link in the video description below and uh yeah have a go experiment with it try all different colors try different ones next time i'm gonna do some um i'm gonna try and sort of like just use certain colors uh, in each one but all the patterns are different and everything I, I really like it it's so easy to do something to do for you guys to do during lockdown or being stuck at home fantastic so there we go done and dusted i hope you've enjoyed just something a little different for today and i'll see you in the next episode bye y'all